have already got a really beautiful edit of the 2025 uh, wedding dresses from Jesus Paro. I don't know what the name of the collection yet is because we went out really early to Barcelona to buy them uh, because new dresses. There's nothing like having new dresses in the chapel. So I've got some favourites from the collection and I'm going to talk you through those just so that you know what my little kind of like, treasures are at the moment. So this dress, um, I've got in a couple of different sizes. Um, this is the 2507 and I don't know where in the wedding gods like decided that slipper satin was going to become a thing but so this beautiful look of satin from Jesus Paro has just been going down a storm with our clients. Satin in general is having a real moment but this one is very beautiful and I'm just going to talk you through the anatomy of why this is a good dress. Firstly um, it comes with a, an opera coat which I will show you in a moment. But basically, it is channeling the very popular, very now square neck, but made slightly gentler. So it's very wearable. It has the ability to be worn with a bra, which is, you know, that's always a subject very, very close to my heart. It also has this fascinating seaming here, which is under the bust and around the waist. So not only do you get waist definition for where would we be without that, but it also has this lovely slice up here making people's boobs look a bit smaller and in girl math giving you an extra couple of um, inches on your leg length which you know no one can actually sniff at that so this is available made to measure I've got it in two sizes in the chapel this is broadly speaking my size and I've got a little teeny tiny model size one as well so um, very very versatile millions of different options and it's just got this beautiful rich kind of fluidity to the fabric which I adore this is another pick from my uh, 2025 favourites. Now this is basically an evolution of an existing dress. I've even just got the little my style number. This is 2509. So this is very, very similar to a 2024 dress, um, which we love, uh, 2430. So again, it's got the square neck. Uh, it's got a new arrangement of pleats. Now I know this is not exciting for anybody else that's not in bridal wear. But it's your flat fronted skirt with little pleats at the side, makes it extremely flattering to wear um, and very carb friendly, which I think is brilliant for wedding. We have had ours done in the um, very popular at Miss Bush, the, um, the spotted silk uh, taffeta. So the dotty taffeta is just lovely, it gives that kind of minimalism from a distance, but as you get up close, there's some texture and interest to the fabric. It's also pretty crease resistant as well which maybe is more popular with mothers than brides, but that's really important to know. I, again, I've got this in two sizes. This is broadly speaking my size because it's a great uh, bust line for someone with a boob if you don't really want to get them all out and you want to drop everything below the waterline. And it's got decent sized shoulders for um, bra straps. Uh, we also had ours done with a classic button back because girls cannot not have a button back to their dresses. And then just as a little addition, um, the detachable puff sleeves have been very fun this year. People are loving them. It gives you a chance to have some photos done with a very classic looking dress. And then you can definitely be a girl of your season with some puff sleeves. These could be made to be quite neatly attached or they can just, he says, they can just um, sit on the shoulder like that. So you get this really cool puff sleeve. Um, the really good thing about puff sleeves is it gives you a really lovely 360 degree view. Uh, people, rightly or wrongly, get a bit freaked out by their side arms, their top arms, that kind of stuff. So this is, it's a comfort blanket for your arms and it just happens to be pretty cool and unapologetic. So I recommend this highly. Again, I've got two different sizes in the store, my size and a smaller size in a couple of different fabrics with the lovely versatility that comes with Jesus Paro dresses. Uh, you could choose any of their fabrics. You could do classic satin or any number of their other textured fabrics. All right, um, for my third choice from the um, Hazy's Paro preview collection is this um, classic little dress from them, which really is super suitable for maybe a civil wedding, an understated wedding, something that's more casual. Again, it's got the Hazy's Paro DNA. So you've got that cinched waist effect here. You have got a central front split in it and the ever popular pearls. D 
do not worry that this has got a mesh neckline. I promise you this literally does disappear. It's a sort of weirdly miraculous phenomena. And if you hate pearls, you can have it done without pearls. So that's very good. The other really fantastic thing that I noticed when I put this on someone the other day is this draping that's at the bust here somehow curved around the bottom of the bead and kind of minimizes whilst at the same time defining the waist. So it's got a lot of little kind of tricks going into this dress, which is beautiful. It's currently got a deep square back, obviously for the back interest, but if you wanted to wear a bra with it, we can raise that back up just a little bit so that that's bra friendly. Um, but just a great, great dress, very easy to wear, a very forgiving, slim silhouette, it's not as tight as fishtail, it's not fit and flare, it's a microscopic A-line basically with a split down the front, so you can have all the cool shoes with it as well.